Hello and welcome back to another video. As you can see from the title, we are doing my February empties. These are unedited and all one take. So if you hear background noise, sucks to be you. Um, first, the Kinship Super Mellow Hydrating Gel Cream. This, I said at the beginning that it started burning my face and I've tried this before. So it's not even like, you know, new product reactions. Um, but this one that I bought started breaking out my face and burning when I put it on but then I didn't feel like that as I got towards the end of using it so maybe I just had to get acclimated again but I, it shouldn't be like that like a product should not take acclimation so I don't think I would buy this again um you know because it's not like super duper cheap either so I'd rather spend the same amount of money on this that I spent on this to just buy something that I know works for around the same price or cheaper because especially this is a gel cream and this is how I actually found out that I like gel creams and the Versed Dew Point thingy that's also a gel cream and I like that like a lot the only problem is is that you can only get it at like Target and I barely go to Target so you know it's not easy to get like usually if I go to the mall or something everything's there but Target <laughs> so I usually just go and get my lotions from Ulta or Sephora or something like that or CVS like CVS is a constant at least once a month so yeah I wouldn't buy this again but now I know for the future spend the money that I would spend on this on something else or, or just just go to Target <laughs> Another thing that I finished is this nail oil pen. I think this was the Lily scent, but I don't actually remember. Um, my mom got these from Amazon, so I've been using them. This is the last one. And yeah, you can see my nails. They look moisturized. They look oiled. And I like them. But I would want to get like the refillable oil pens, especially because I have oil. So I don't need to use this. This is just for ease. So, yeah, if I can find the refillable ones, I'll just use my jojoba oil instead of getting these pens. The third item is this NARS eyeliner. This is Via Veneto, which is their black shade. I don't even think you can see it. Oh, there we go. Um, This is so smooth. It's like a gel pen, I think. I don't know the technicalities, you know, the specificities. Specificities? Specicality. Specialities? I don't know. Anyways, I don't know the specifics of what this is. I just think that it's a gel pen, pencil, and it smudges while also drying down. So if you work fast enough, you can get a smoky, smudgy look. But if you just want to do a sharp line, sharpen it, and then do your sharp line, and it'll dry down that way and stay. Like, this does not come off or smudge or anything like that. And it's so smooth. You know, my hooded eyes, I need something that won't, like, skip. Because I need to get it all done in one go. <laughs> um, so, yeah. If I ever buy eyeliner again, I would get this one. Because even though it's, like, quite expensive, I don't really use eyeliner like that. So, if I'm getting an eyeliner, that means I want it to last. And I need it for a specific thing. Um, but, yeah. There's, there's technically more in here, but if I sharpen it again, I won't, like, it would literally be down to the S right here, and I wouldn't be able to actually hold it and do anything. So I just figured it's been two years, and I can't sharpen it because I won't be able to use it. So let's just put it in the empties. Because I got this as a point perk, so it wasn't, like, a full-size one, but I have sharpened this multiple times in the two years, and that's not the thing that I like about it is that, like, if an uh, old part's at the end, you could just sharpen it off, you know? But yeah, anyways, I like this. I would repurchase. I just, I don't wear eyeliner. <laughs> like, especially when I have black eyeshadow, I don't need eyeliner. So, I wouldn't need to repurchase it. But if I needed a black eyeliner, I'd get this one. Another NARS product is the NARS Lip Balm in the shade Orgasm. This was... <clears throat> oh my god why can't i speak this was the first nars product that i ever got i think <laughs> i got this two or three years ago 
in uh, Sephora Favorites lip balm thingy. I think I made an entire video about it actually. So like, if I did, I will link it down below. You can see the swatches of the other things that came in there too. Um, and yeah, this has been my purse lip balm, meaning it, it just, it took me so long to use it because I don't use it in the house. But now I'm done. I'm, I'm completely done with it. That's, that's all I have to say. It's good, it's nice. Um, I like the Laguna one better because it's less noticeable. Like if you put on too much of this, your lips will be pink. The Laguna one is brown and I, I'm brown. So it's not as noticeable as this. But this is a good lip balm. I, I would buy this again. I just wouldn't get it over getting the Laguna because I would get that first. But yeah, good lip balm. And last but not least, the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This is a clear brow gel. I got this in the Sephora Hello set, meaning I have a 15% off. So if I wanted to get this again for like cheaper, I do have a 15% off because that's what the Hello, Hello sets are. Like you get them for like 10 or $8 and then you get 15% off coupons for everything in the bag. Um, and yeah, this is actually like a good product. I like it. It doesn't flake or make my brows feel crunchy. But it's also quite expensive. Like even the mini, which I think is this size, um, it's like fourteen dollars for a clear brow gel. So yeah. <laughs> like I, I, I wouldn't get this again, especially because I, I know how I want to do my brows now. Because I don't really actually care about my brows. I only do them because they just look weird in pictures if I don't have some sort of pigment in them. Because if you have not seen any videos of me before, I have slits in my eyebrows and they will be there. And I don't really care about that. But they look kind of weird in pictures when I have like my full face done and then like my eyebrows just look not done. So yeah, I don't really need this. But it is helpful if I need to stick my eyebrows up for some reason and keep them there. Because also, I touch my eyebrows way too much. So if I feel that they have something on them, like this, then I won't move them. Like, I'll remember that I have something on them. Versus when I just put in my, like, e.l.f. brow pencil, I smudge my eyebrows constantly. Because <laughs> I never remember I actually am wearing makeup. So yeah, those are the five products that I finished. I didn't need to make an entire video about this, but I wanted to keep everything separate and I didn't want to combine things. So yeah, here's my five product empties. At least you got three makeup products in here, you know? Fun, fun. If you like this video, like this video, come back tomorrow for my February collective haul. I got a couple of products that I already did reviews on and a couple of products that I literally got the last day of February. So even I don't know that much about them yet. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good jazz, and I will see you in another video. Bye!